Okay, this is homework for module four, lesson four. And so it says, draw a tape diagram to solve, express your answer as a fraction, show the addition sentence to support your answer. The first one is done for you. So let's look at number two. This is um, four divided by five, and I can quickly put that into a fraction here, four fifths, but I still need to show my work. Um, so I'm taking four, so here's my four, and I'm breaking it up into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I want to know how much for one piece. Well, here's my, to check, I would do four divided by five, and um, that would be zero. So I have four fifths. So that means that one of these squares is four fifths. So each one is four fifths. And I'm going to fill that in so that I know, okay, well, if I go ahead and I add all these up together, it should equal 4. So um, I know that my denominator is going to be 5. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is um, 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20. 20, and this is also 20 divided by 5, and that is 4. So that's correct, so my answer is 4 fifths. This one I had already done the work. I took 8 divided by 5, and I know that that's 8 fifths, but I need to change that to an improper fraction. And I also need to represent it using a tape diagram. So I have 8 as my whole, and I'm divide that 8 into 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, too many, see? Into 5 pieces. And I need to figure out how much for one piece. So I have... 8 divided by 5, that gives me 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract is 3, so I have 1 and 3 fifths. So i got to check my work, so that means that each one of these squares is 1 and 3 fifths. I'm just going to fill it in so that I know how many times I have to add this up. So if each one of these squares is 1 and 3 fifths, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My denominator for my fractions is going to be 5, and I have 1, two, three, four, five threes. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is twelve, plus three is fifteen. Well this is five plus fifteen divided by five is three. Five plus three is eight, which is my whole, so that's good. And I have fourteen divided by three. Okay, my whole is fourteen, and I'm going to break this up into three pieces. And I'm also going to quickly put this into an improper fraction, which is fourteen thirds but I need to change that to a mixed number. So I need to figure out how much one equals. Okay, so that's 14 divided by three, which gives me four. Four times three is 12. Subtract these with two, so I have four and two thirds. Four and two thirds. But I need to check it, so I'm going to, that means that each one of these is four and two thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and add them up. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds, plus 2 thirds is 6 thirds. Well, 6 thirds also equals 2, and 12 plus 2 is 14, which is my halt. So that's correct. Okay. The back side, we're now moving a little bit away from... Um, my tape diagram, but I'm still doing the same thing. I have a fraction, and I need to put this fraction into a division expression. So this is 3 divided by 4, and I'm going to show my standard algorithm, which is 3 divided by 4. Multiply, this is 3 divided by 4 is 0. Multiply, 0, subtract. So I have 3 fourths. My next one is 7 halves, so this is 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2 is, oh, no, sorry, not 0. 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. So that's 3 and 1 half. So that means that this is going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. Okay. And the last one, which is 81 90th, so that's 81 divided by 90. And I did my division here. It gave me 0 and 81 90th, but I can also simplify. So 81 divided by 9 is, oh, I did that wrong. I'm so glad I caught it. 81 divided by 9 is 9 tenths. There we go.
but if you just have 80 one ninetieth, that's perfectly fine. Okay, for number three, Jackie cut a two yard spool into five equal lengths of ribbon. So a spool is just a um, circular thing that holds ribbon going all the way around. So if this spool is two yards and it it holds five equal lengths of ribbon, so we have two yards. What is the length of each ribbon in yards? One, two, three, four, five. It wants to know how much one would be. So that would be two divided by five, which is two fifths. Or we can show it this way. Two divided by five, which is two fifths. So it holds. What is the length of each ribbon in yards? Each ribbon is two fifths of a yard. There you go. And I can double check my work if this is each one of these is two fifths. So if each one was two fifths and I added them up, my denominator would be five, two, four, six, eight, ten. And ten divided by five is two. And that's correct. So my answer is correct. What is the length of each ribbon in feet? Well, this is two-fifths of a yard. Okay, and I need to change it to feet. Well, the first thing I need to know is how many feet are in a yard. I'm actually going to have you skip this one because it requires division of fractions and we're not, um, we don't know that one yet. So number four, Baba the black sheep had seven pounds of wool. If he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much wool would be in two bags? First we need to figure out how many go in three bags. So if he has seven pounds of wool, he if he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much wool would be in two bags? So first we need to figure out how much is in each bag. So we would take that seven pounds and divide it by three. Okay, so that's seven divided by three. And that gives me two. Two times three is six. Subtract, bring down. So he has two and one third pounds in one of these. So this is two and one thirds, two and one third, two and one thirds. So he has two and one thirds in one bag, but they want to know how much would be in two bags. So that means I would take both of these, two and one thirds plus two and one thirds, and that would give me the answer. So that's four, and one third plus one third is two thirds. So Baba would have four and two thirds pounds in two bags. And number five, an adult sweater is made from two pounds of wool. This is three times as much wool as it takes to make a baby sweater. How much wool does it take to make a baby sweater? Well, two pounds for adult, which is three times as much to make an adult. So if we divide that, or we can do it this way with our tape diagram, we need two pounds for the adult sweater. But if we break that up into thirds, this would be the amount for the baby sweater. So divide two divided by three. I can show my work here. Two divided by three, which is two thirds. So it actually takes, um, sorry, it takes two thirds pounds of wool to make a baby sweater.